guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. Today I'm doing something really awesome. Well, let me just tell you, first of all, before I even talk about that, if you're new here, please subscribe. I put out videos three times a week and already if you're a subby, hey boo, it's nice to see you back again. Laura Mercier came out with a darker setting powder for those of us with deeper skin tones. And I'm so freaking excited about this, you guys have no idea. I love the translucent powder, but when it comes to baking under my eyes, Sometimes it can just leave me with too much of a chalky, you know, like look afterwards. And I just keep thinking to myself, man, if they would just come out with pigmented setting powders, that would be amazing. So when I heard that this one came out, I was just like, all right, I'm going to Sephora, I'm purchasing this, that's it, I gotta try it out. So this is the full size. It does come in the one ounce size. So when you open it, it looks just like the original one, like this. It's got those little holes for the powder to come out. And of course, it's got that cocoa, um, you know, color to it. What I've done here is I've got, you know, my foundation on, my eye makeup, of course, and I've saved, you know, um, concealer and setting powder so I could do this on camera so that you guys can kind of see real time what this looks like. Now, I also got a request from a subscriber to test out the Cover Effects. This is their perfect setting powder as a, a dupe for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Laura Mercier under my eyes, and then I'm going to use the perfect setting powder from Cover Effects right underneath here when I do my contouring and also to set, you know, my forehead and my nose. So we're going to kind of see what those different textures look like and then at the end I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts and such. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so for my concealer I've got the Tarte Shape Tape. This has just become my favorite, hands down favorite concealer because I just love that it's so freaking like full coverage because that's what I need. I don't get that much sleep. Okay, so I've got my Real Techniques brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. So to go ahead and set that right away, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier. I usually do not bake, but i got to show you guys what it looks like. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to at least just try baking. Now, if my under eyes end up dry looking, I mean, that's just the way my skin is. But for those of you guys that do bake, I'm going to try this out for you guys. Okay, here we go. So here you guys can see what it looks like. Now it's pretty similar to my skin tone, just slightly lighter, so I'm loving that already. I'm not gonna let this sit on my face for too long because like I said, I do have dry under eyes. So I'm going to sweep that away and I'm going to use my Kat Von D setting powder brush. So before we go ahead and move on to the rest of the face, I'm just gonna quickly touch on my first impressions. I love that this did not leave my under eyes looking super dry like the original translucent setting powder. And I love that it just really kept that nice cocoa smooth finish. So my face just looks really nice and glowy I feel like as opposed to like dry with that white cast that the original one gives off. Now let's move to um, using the cover effects on the rest of my face and see how this works out. Okay, so here's the Cover Effects Powder. I do love that it's got this little cover right here so you can just easily flip this off and make sure that it doesn't spill off. Now I'm ready to dust off that setting powder from Cover Effects. And I'm gonna start right under here. And also here. Alright guys, so now that my makeup is done, I'm ready to give you my thoughts as far as first impression goes on both of these setting powders. So, when comparing the two, I like the Laura Mercier one way more than the Cover FX one, and this is why. 
When the Laura Mercier Darker Setting Powder is dusted off, it gives a really nice finish. It doesn't make the skin look dry, which is the problem that I've had with the original one. When put under here, it just made it look luminous as opposed to like cakey and, you know, crocodile skin like. And I didn't like this one because I felt like the undertone is just different. It gives the skin a little bit more of like a grayer feel to it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but in person under here, it just looks like my skin is a bit like grayer. So if I had added it under my eyes, it wouldn't have looked as bright and luminous as the Laura Mercier setting powder did. Does that make sense? I hope I'm explaining that right. Just the finish is better from the Laura Mercier side. As far as packaging, like on the cover effects one, I really like this extra cap because if you ever take this traveling with you or whatever, you know, you can be sure that this is not going to like burst open and powder is gonna end up everywhere. That's happened to me with my Laura Mercier setting powder and I did not like it. Um, also, of course, I love that the um, size of this one is bigger. This one is one ounce and this here is, do they say? It's 0.35 ounces. So I feel like you're getting a lot more and I don't know the prices off the top of my head. I'll put that down below in the description box or I'll edit it and put it down below later. But I just feel like you're getting a lot more and setting powder, I mean, you don't go through it as fast. So I like the fact that you're getting a lot more and of course because the finish is better here. I also think that if the setting powder is your exact skin tone, then it's going to be really nice to set the rest of the face. The only reason I didn't do that is because the setting powder is slightly lighter than my skin tone, so it would just look weird. I'm gonna stick to my normal setting powder for that, but for under the eyes and any area that you wanna illuminate your face, you know, the bridge of the nose, your forehead, right underneath your where your jawline is, I think those are gonna be great areas to use that and um, we're gonna see how this holds up throughout the day I'll come back and give you guys an update hey guys so I've been wearing my makeup for about mm, like four to five hours so I wanted to come back and check in with you guys so check out my under eye area legit it is so freaking smooth um, while I was running my errands I actually got compliments on my makeup from complete strangers so it's safe to say that I think the Laura Mercier darker setting power is powder <laughs> is super bomb it just gives you like this flawless look under the eyes you can't even see my bags it looks fabulous as for where I put the cover effects like under the eyes I think it still looks nice uh, but Personally, I prefer the Laura Mercier setting powder. That's just my little opinion. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know your thoughts below, what you think looked the best in the video, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!